Good afternoon, brothers and sisters in Christ. I just had a quick minute to follow up. Someone had asked me a question, uh, but first I would like to pray because I don't know um, about any of you, but I know that the um, demonic presence, the demonic attacks have increased, um, especially in my life. And it, this is a war um, against the spiritual realm, in the spiritual realm against Christians at all times. So um, always let's put on our full armor every day and um, not forget the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. So Lord Jesus Christ, I just pray for everybody watching this video. I know a lot of us are suffering with physical pain, but I also ask Lord Jesus Christ that you come and comfort and give healing of the body, mind, soul, and spirit to um, myself and in, anybody else who's watching Lord Jesus Christ. And please protect everybody who's watching this video from all demonic attack. Lord Jesus Christ, put your armor around them. Put your armor of God around them and stand beside them with your double-edged sword and fight for them. Uh, your children are precious in your sight. And I just want to pray for every single person watching and um, ask for protection. Hedge them in, Father, in your holy, precious name, and heal them. Amen. So, a lady had mentioned Yellowstone, and I wanted to mention that real quick. I'm sitting in a parking lot, so there's cars coming in and out. Um, so, um, on February 25th, I um, had a dream. I'm not typically a dreamer. I usually get all of my um, visions while I'm awake, but this says dream. So, um, this was part of a larger one, and but I wrote, I also saw the Yellowstone volcano about to blow, um, and I saw the earth around it shaking, and I thought, oh no, there are people close by. Then I heard in my dream, after that, NWO, which is New World Order, mass, mass casualty, government control, and war. And as much as I don't like to speak warnings, I feel it's very important to be obedient to God. So I wanted to put that one out there because the lady had, um, a new subscriber had asked me uh, about that uh, because she had a warning about that. So I hope that answers her question. I had to go back and find it um, because it was part of a bigger message and that was just like a little part of it. Um... But this morning I was praying and I did one earlier, which was Colossians 2.19 about, um, you know, staying connected basically to God. And at these trying times as Christians, we have to, um, you know, basically keep our peace amongst the storm that's happening all around us, especially especially. Uh, demonic um, forces coming against us as Christians and it is um, it gets tiresome so I just pray for everybody about that and something that I feel was Holy Spirit inspired that I wrote down I hope you don't mind me reading it I was telling the Lord how difficult this was um, and how worn out I am um, but he's told me in the past that when I warn, I must also speak of his love. So the Holy Spirit was telling me um, that Jesus' love is deep and wide and all-encompassing, all-knowing. It is beyond anything that the human mind can grasp. His love is pure. His love is kind. His love is gentle. His love is infinite. His love is beyond this realm. He wants only good for his children and not evil. So many are lost and have gone astray. He wants all of his children back. He longs for the presence of every child. He is calling each by name. He calls stars by their names. He created and formed both. Hosanna in the highest, the lineage of David, the almighty King of King and Lord of Lords longs to be near you. Come to know Jesus. Come and find him in the quiet. Remove yourself from all distraction. You must remove yourself from the noise of the world that keeps tugging at you. You will not find Jesus in the world. He is not of the world. 
Go to him now before it's too late. He is tugging at your heart. The one that created it, the one that formed it inside of you and made it beat, co coinciding with his heartbeat. You are his child. You belong to him, the almighty God. He longs to know you. He wants to speak to you. He wants to show himself to you. And he longs to teach you spiritual truths. He wants to con comfort you and to guide you and to shelter you. But you must go to him and ask for his presence. If you ask for Jesus' presence, he will be there. Trust me. Call out to Jesus. Amen. God bless you.